Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's episode, we're taking a moment to remember and reflect on the individuals who have passed away recently. We'll share insights into their lives, achievements, and the impact they've made. Join us as we honor their memories and discuss their legacies. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you're always up to date with our latest content. Let's begin. Rainer Brandt was a German actor, voice actor, and screenwriter. Born on January 19, 1936, in Berlin, Germany, he is well known for his work in the German entertainment industry. Brandt's career spans several decades, and he has made significant contributions to television and film. In addition to his acting work, Rainer Brandt is recognized for his voiceover work, particularly in dubbing foreign films and television shows into German. His voice has been featured in various international productions, making him a familiar voice to German-speaking audiences. One of his notable achievements is his involvement in the German dubbing of popular series and movies, where his vocal talent has helped bridge cultural and linguistic gaps for German viewers. Brandt's career reflects his versatility and skill in both acting and voice work. Brandt died on August 1, 2024, at the age of 88. Well, having fun with it. And, uh, enjoy. Charles Cyphers. He was an American actor who is known in the horror movie community for his work in the films of John Carpenter, especially his role as Sheriff Lee Brackett in Carpenter's 1978 movie Halloween. He reprised this role in the 1981 sequel Halloween 2 and the 2021 sequel Halloween Kills. Cyphers's first feature film was the 1974 movie Truck Turner and he first worked with Carpenter in the 1976 action film Assault on Precinct 13, in which he played Starker, one of the ill-fated police officers gunned down by gang members. He later appeared as Sheriff Lee Brackett in the 1978 hit horror movie Halloween. In 2005, he appeared in the movie Dead Calling, and in 2007 he was set to appear in Ethan Dettenmayer's unreleased film, Sinjin Smith. Cyphers appeared in numerous television productions. During the 1970s, he had a recurring role, as Hugo Muncie, in The Betty White Show. He was born on July 1939. He died after a brief illness in Tucson, Arizona, on 4th of August, 2024, at the age of 85. There's a big difference between slashing good years. Some kind of implication. You got anger, man. John Apria. He was an American actor. He is known for playing the roles of young Salvatore Tessio in The Godfather Part II, Lieutenant Vince Novelli on Matt Houston, Sheriff Jack North on Falcon Crest, Manny Vasquez on Knott's Landing, Lucas Castellano on Another World, and Nick Katsopoulos on Full House and Fuller House. His other film credits include Bullet, The Stepford Wives, New Jack City and others. In high school, Apria played football as an all-Bergen County tackle and linebacker. He made his film debut as D.R. Kinner in Bullet, 1968, co-starring with Steve McQueen. In 1970, he appeared in the films The Grasshopper and The Dark Side of Tomorrow. He also appeared in the film Caged Heat, 1974, directed by Jonathan Demme. He appeared in the television film Crazy Times, co-starring with Ray Liotta. He was born on March 1941. He died of natural causes at his home in Los Angeles on 5th of August, 2024, at the age of 83. Patrice Lafont. He was a French television presenter and actor. During the 1960s Lafont had a passion for acting, where he became a star on stage and screen with his friends Michel Fugin and Michel Sardou. During the 1970s he joined Europe One where most of his programs were produced by Armand Jamet. His television career includes hosting numbers and letters which he did between 1972 and 1989. Lafont hosted the French version of Fort Boyard from its creation in 1990. Lafont also hosted the 2005 edition of Intervilles and presented poker tournaments for Direct 8. He was born on August 1939. He died at his home in Vaucluse, died on 7th of August, 2024, at the age of 84, died due to a heart attack. 
This is Angel Salazar, a famous movie star and successful stand-up comic. Angel Salazar. He was a Cuban-American comedian and actor. He is known for saying, check it out, before, during, and after jokes. As an actor, he was best known for his role as Chi Chi in the 1983 film Scarface. Salazar first began performing stand-up comedy when he was 18, debuting his, check it out, line in his first open mic appearance, and soon went on to acting. In his most famous role, he played Chi Chi in Scarface, 1983, his other film credits included Punchline, 1988, and Carlito's Way. Salazar also appeared on Last Comic Standing and many HBO comedy specials. His last film he was shooting was the Brooklyn premiere. He was born on March 1956. On August 11, 2024, he died while staying at a friend's residence in Brooklyn. He was 68 and had an enlarged heart. John Clegg. He was an English actor, best known for playing the part of Gunner La de Graham in the BBC sitcom It Ain't Half Hot Mom. Clegg's first television role was as D.C. Greaves in Dixon of Doc Green in 1961. Clegg's first film appearance was as a minor role in the 1967 musical film Half a Sixpence, playing a shop assistant. In 1979, he made an appearance in the BBC television Shakespeare production of Measure for Measure, in which he played Froth, the foolish gentleman. In 1995 he appeared as a guest on David Croft's appearance on This Is Your Life. Pugh appeared in Croft and Perry sitcoms including Dad's Army, It Ain't Half Hot Mum and Hide a High. His birth date is July 1934. John Clegg died in West Sussex, died on 20th of August, 2024 at the age of 90. Johnny Clegg was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2015. Mm -hmm. And especially about my English uh, way of speaking. You'll find out later on. Alain Delon. He was a French actor, film producer, screenwriter, and singer. Acknowledged as a cultural and cinematic leading man of the 20th century, Delon emerged as one of the foremost European actors of the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s, and became an international sex symbol. His style, looks, and roles made him an icon of cinema worldwide and earned him enduring popularity. Delon achieved critical acclaim for his roles in films such as Women Are Weak, 1959, Purple Noon, 1960, and others. Delon received many film and entertainment awards throughout his career. In 1991, he became a member of France's Legion of Honor. At the 45th Berlin International Film Festival, he won the honorary Golden Bear. Delon made his stage debut in 1961. He was born on November 1935. Delon died peacefully on 18th of August, 2024, at the age of 88. He had been diagnosed with B-cell lymphoma earlier in the year. Lubomir Pavlovic. He was a Slovak actor. He started acting already as a child. His first role was the prince in the fairy tale movie Raiders and Mahilina. He studied acting at the Academy of Performing Arts in Bratislava, graduating in 1978 was very active as a television and movie actor. Over the course of his career, he starred in over 150 television movies as well as a number of TV series and about 45 films. He frequently cooperated with the director Uri Jakubisko throughout his career. He was born on November 1952. He died from heart failure at his home on 15th of August, 2024, at the age of 71. This is a bowl full of fresh, crisp cereal. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, one bowl full. Peter Marshall. He was an American game show host, television and radio personality, singer, and actor. He was the original host of the Hollywood Squares from 1966 to 1981 and had almost 50 television, movie, and Broadway credits. In the 1950s, Marshall earned his living as part of a comedy act with Tommy Noonan, appearing in nightclubs, on television variety shows, and in films including Starlift, The Rookie, 1959, and Swingin' Along. 
Marshall was the host of his own short-lived syndicated music and comedy series. He was born on March, 1926. He died of kidney failure at his home in California, on 15 August, 2024, at the age of 98.